there was a not knowing. And in that not knowing there was, I could either go mad or, or I may die. But I was so broken, I went, OK. <laughs> Not much option. There was no option. You either go mad or you die. Yeah, yeah, but there was no... I was going beyond what I knew. Yeah, I See, the mental awareness, the mental opening is just like a, a mental seeing. There's no thinking. But then to go beyond your knowing into the realms of unknowing, the heart then needs to open and a mind mm. opened. And then suddenly uh, I, I said, OK. And then next thing you know, I'm just coming to. And when I came to, vroom, it was just just this amazing opening and 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 from this opening i could see but it wasn't seeing from uh, the me it wasn't seeing you know it wasn't seeing from the perceptual points i'd had before it was a seeing from consciousness and when i could see from consciousness it was like i was seeing from presence seeing from being I just opened up, and then, and in that moment, I I I, I realised that, and I remember it was like no one could have shown me this. But when you say you were seeing from presence, from being, yes, were these words you understood at the time, or is it your interpretation is now clearer looking back on it? Because I imagine it's so radical what happened, yes, that maybe you didn't fully have a comprehension of what was happening. No, no. When it first happened, there was um, th there was the only interpretation I had at the time was via the self, via what I'd known in life. Okay. So as as it opened, all, all I all, all I knew was, for instance, there there was um, when it opened, there was suddenly a sense of no time. It be there was an eternal sense, a timeless sense, from this place. And when I felt that, I, I, I remember knowing eternity. And knowing that eternity is, 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 is the absolute. But from it, there is the expression that there is Steve. But in, in the absolute and, and the expression, they're one. So th there was the sense of eternity. Um, there was the sense of intimacy, uh, the sense of God, but not God as in a personal God, or, but as an absolute consciousness. That's just how I, I kind of saw it then. I guess it's got more refined as time's gone on when I, when I talk about it. But at the time, there was realising as well, like, 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 like Jesus Christ or Buddha, when, when they spoke about the kingdom or they spoke about awakening, I kind of saw things and they kind of just fitted. But the experience itself was just, was just this. There was just this amazing place, this amazing place of being, you know. And this basically all happened in one evening? All in one evening, yes. And so you went to sleep mm. and the next morning mm. and you wake up mm. and you open your eyes mm. and it's still there as it still was? Still there, still there. And... Uh, it was still there, and I was really happy <laughs> that it was still there. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I remember going out in the world, walking down the high street in Slough, and I, I remember seeing from this eternal place, seeing from consciousness, where, um, where there was no image of who I was. That had gone. The abstract sense of Steve had gone. There was just this seeing from the most intimate realm of being, you know, from love, from God, whatever. And, and seeing from this place, realising there's no image there anymore. And that, that I found fast, fantastic, you know, that there was not this image of who I thought I was. So when you say image, mm. there wasn't like an interpretation? No interpretation the whatsoever, mind. none. You saw images as such, yes, yes. but you yes. didn't interpret them no. as that is the shop and memories come, etc. No, 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 not by association, no, absolutely yeah. not. There was just a seeing. Yes. And then the mind, you know, what I call, it's funny, looking at how I interpreted things then, for me at that time, uh, there was true self, false self. I, and I could see that this was the true self, and the very called is being. Mm. And, um, and, and also there, there was just a... A sense of it was mind as well, real mind, 
being, real mind, consciousness, real mind. And, and I could see that I had the faculty on a mental level to reflect being. And I could see then that the true nature of the mental faculty is to reflect being, honesty, to allow it through. You know. So real mind, it becomes the servant of being as opposed to old mind, yes. which tries to be the master. Yes. And there was a real sense of just being connected to the eternal. Um, and then seeing people as well, because I started to see people. And, and uh, I could see that mind played a lot of part, and in mind there's time. I could see time, people caught up in time. Mm. They're thinking. It was just a profound experience, because it happened all in one go. There was just this tremendous seeing. And was that reference point experience, whatever we call it, was it continual, or did you go through days where you lost it and you more reverted back to the old Steve? In the beginning, there was just being alone with that, because I, I, I didn't know anyone who'd had this experience. When I tried to explain it to people... Especially being 12 step and, and, and going to the fellowships, um, I, I thought I'd meet people that have had this experience and there'd be a connecting, there'd be the next level of recovery. So you thought this was part of the programme? Absolutely. I thought it was, because at, at that time, for me, it was just pure honesty. Coming from this place is pure honesty, OK? Uh, which it is, really, in that sense. It's who you are um, as consciousness. And um, I... Uh, found that I, I didn't find people, you know, and, and uh, I began to think maybe it's different for everyone. But for me, there, there's always been a sense, you know, of seeing from that place. Always seeing, you know, as, as I'm seeing you now, there's seeing from a place of consciousness that's not necessarily stuck to form. So I'll ask you this question in, in terms of when you discovered your father wasn't your real father, I asked you the same question. How did this impact your life practically, this experience? Practically, let me think. Because you had a job, presumably? I did I have know, a did job. Did you have a family at that point? No, 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 I was 18, I didn't have a family or anything. Okay. No, I... I, I, um, I, I, I just went into... I think I just went into working, drinking... No, no, I'm talking Sorry. about... I'm asking the same question I asked you previously. How did this experience now impact mm. your life practically? So, oh, like, like, like the beingness? Yes. Oh, it was liberation, it was freedom. It but was... I, but I mean, I mean I, I'm really interested in life... And how, how it fits into life. integration. Yeah. yeah. How you integrate yeah. that. Exactly. Well, in the beginning, it, um, I found that the first thing that dropped away was my self-obsession about how other people saw me or... Um, and, and, and that constant mind stuff about, about what am I like, what am I doing, that, that just all went, and there was a silence. I, 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 I found it easier to be with people. Um, I could see that where I was seeing from, this place of being, is, is non-judgmental, and, and it's indestructible. And I just felt easy in it, I could rest in that. So it's indestructible? Yes. It's indestructible, yet, mm. at the same time, very fragile. It's okay. very responsive, yeah. incredibly responsive. You know, it's just incredible, just how, um, when you're touched, how consciousness responds. It's just, it's yeah. just amazing. It's incredible. So when you say it was fragile, did you feel it got stronger as time went on? Or was it always, is it always still fragile at times? I think it's always fragile in, 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 in one sense. There's, there's always, I mean, it, it, it's just incredibly um, vulnerable, you know. But with consciousness, what, what I've found is, is that it's needed support, you know, in, in like understanding. Like, like, because when you become conscious, you, 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 you come back into your body, but as a conscious being you know you uh you rediscover yourself in a way but not not i'm not talking about the egoic self i'm not talking about the me 